Hi everyone, it's Judy, and welcome back to Rose Lane. Uh, okay, tonight we're going to do two little things. One is we're going to recreate this piece in the opposite direction for part of the center signature of our ongoing saga of the Angela Kerr project piece. This is something that was not in Angela's, but because I added an extra fold-out page, I, of course, needed something else. So, um, we're going to be doing that. But the first thing I want to do is, uh, part of what I have to do tonight on this is to do the tassel. We're going to make the tassel that's going to go on here, um, on this little piece. So I'm going to have this, I may even actually bring this down a little bit closer, um, and, uh, see if we can get a closer look at what my my clumsy hands are doing but we're going to try to uh, do that and then we're going to work on doing this piece and then in the next video we are going to do the picture frame and the something else oh the belly band and the little book that we may get to it um, in this one I'm going to try to keep these to about 30 to 35 minutes um, better to have two short ones than one long one and we'll work with that from there. So for right now, we're going to move this over. Um, for those of you who remember uh, Angela's um, piece, and I had something here I wanted to show you, and I don't know if I can dig it up um, right now. I think I can. Um, hmm, okay. We're going to do a little, a little by proxy piece. This was, and I'm going to show you, these are all different uh, size papers. And I do apologize for the dark color of it, so hopefully it'll show up some. But I did do the uh, trifold tuxedo pocket for Rachel at Roxy Creations as well. And this, in these pictures, it'll show the um, the tassel that I had done for her. Um, but so what I want to do, I don't know if you can see that. How close is that? That's pretty close. That doesn't look too bad actually. Okay, um, I'm gonna just lay them flat because I think it's easier to see. Uh, I did a Renaissance theme for her, um, so this was the front of it, of course. You're kind of getting familiar with this now, um, and I'm just going to pull these pictures. We're doing it by proxy because I don't have the piece to show you anymore. Um, this is with the tag out. I had a lock and key here. This little piece does come out, and what is on that piece is a, a medieval cipher. Um, the whole thing was about keeping secrets. Uh, that's why all the hidden pockets and all the little bits and pieces. So that was that one. And this shows that this piece here, the front flap, has a pocket in it. And there's a little square piece of paper, which I folded in half for, as a triangle and put into the pocket. So that's one secret place. And then when you flipped it open, it has that second flap. I didn't seal that. That has another square piece of paper folded as a um, triangle to fit in the pocket. And then, of course, the whole piece opened up. So you have that writing space as well. So you have this, the other flap, inside the front flap, and then two pieces of paper like that. Then this opened up this way, and these were cards that came out. I'll just do this one quick. This one said hidden. Let's see if I can do this. This one said, I'll put it like that. This one said hidden, and this one said secrets. So that's sort of how it looked when you opened the whole piece. Um, this would be open, of course. So whole piece is there. This one was kind of blurry. Um, so that just shows you the tag out of the of the um, little side pocket and the flap here. Um, and then when you flip the whole piece over, it attached here. Now there is the little half circle that we're going to do with a little uh, brad in it. And if you look really closely right here, you can see the tassel. And if anybody followed the video, saw the video uh, when she did this, she actually took the tassel off from here and had to fix it. She did fix it though. Um, she told me she did. So this was the tag and that tag opened up to do that. Opened this way and then it opened up to do that, okay? And then these were the pieces inside the two tags and this like a bookmark with yet another tassel, um, which I took a close-up picture of, but you can't see it's right, it's right there. 
Um, and then this was the back of the tag with its pocket. This was the other tag, and that tag flipped open uh, to do that as well. So anyway, and all of these, if you look closely, let's look at this picture. These little studs that were all around, the metal studs that were all around were uh, jewelry clamshells. And then I just, um, after I cl clamped them, I clipped off the little ring that you would put the chain or the jump rings through, and then I just clamped them over the edges. So that's what I did to make it look like that. So that was the um, trifold tuxedo pocket for Rachel. Get these out of the way. Um, and then again, that's just to show you how you just, there's all kinds of themes. Okay, so let's get to the um, tassels. So what I'm gonna show you, I think, I think maybe this might show up the best. So we're gonna look at this one. Um, these are about, oh, it's about a yard, I guess, of thread. Let's see, you know, that old nose to the end of your hand, a little bit more than a yard, maybe a yard and a third or something like that. So to make these little tassels, I have a few in this box. I have this red one. Okay, I have a red one here and a green one and this very, 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 very pale pink. And this one is a blue one that's a little bit longer, and I'll show you what we do with those. Um, so to get started, I'm going to just show you the one, and then we'll do, I had some other uh, threads out to do more, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just use that one. Okay. So to make the little small ones that I do, I st just do it by fingers. So I start at the base, or if I'm holding my fingers this way, I'm just going to lay that string right there at the bottom of that, and that's one turn, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So I went over, I looped over my fingers eight times. I'm going to hold my that thread down, the original one with my thumb, this one with my ring finger. I'm going to make a loop in the thread, and I'm going to pass it between my fingers. And then I'm going to make another little, I just undid one, I'm going to make another little loop. Let me just make sure I did that right. Yes, I did that right. I let go of the back. Okay. You know what? I'm going to start again <laughs> just to make it easier. I see what I'm doing, but you may not see it. So again, let me, you know what? I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Let's just pull it down so you can get it real. Okay. I think you can see that. Push it back. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So again, it's going to be the two fingers. Hold it with your thumb. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it. Make a little loop like that. Pass it through and pull that out. Make another little loop with this end. It's just so that I can get it through. It's easier for me to do that. Pull that through and then pull it up. Okay? And that's, it's almost like when you loop the, the ribbon or lace through an eyelet or a hole in your um, tags, one of which we are going to do tonight. Oh, actually, I already did the tag, so I guess we're not going to do it tonight. But anyway, that, that takes care of that. Now, what happened here was I was particularly short, so I'm just going to make another, well, you know, we're fine. We're fine with that. That'll be fine. So that brings that up like that. What you're going to do now is take the string and, or this part of the thread and pull it to the end. Make real tight, as tight as you can, near the end of this. So I'm grabbing about that much, okay, with this finger. And then I'm going to take another piece of thread. And this is not divided. This is the sixth uh, ply um, thread. And I'm going to just let a little piece hang over, and then I'm going to go around eight times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you don't have to do it all in the same, same spot, okay? Now you've got two ends. This is still your other thread from before. You've got two ends here, okay? And those are the two we're going to work with. So we're going to take that one, 
we're going to take the short one, loop it under that long one from where we wound, wound it around, and we're going to just tie it and make it tight. I'm going to lay this down for one second because I'm getting my tacky glue and the nozzle is a little plugged up. And then you're just going to get a little bit of tacky glue. I'm not tacky glue, what am I saying? Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Close enough. And I just wipe a little bit in on that first tie, and then I tie it again. Okay, so it just goes through. I just make another loop. Try to hold it still while I do this. You make another loop and just pull it through. And then this thread is going to sit in that other glue that you know in the glue that you just put down. I'm not I'm trying to do it so you can see and it's hard. So just loop it through and then pull it tight. Okay? Then you take your scissors and snip it close. This short one and snip it close and you still have your long piece over here and get rid of this a little bit. Then you're just going to take this and this will slide a little bit so if you want it to slide you can actually pull it up a little closer to the top. Just pull it that way. And then it depends here how long or short you want to make them. If you wanted to make it really short like this you just cut it there. If you wanted to make it a little bit longer you go or as long as you can out of this you just Pull it tight down to the bottom, and then take your scissors and snip. Get rid of your bits. You can save them if you make your own paper. I'm just going to come in here and clip this again because it's a little smushy. All right, and then I'm going to take this thread and just throw it to the side. Now what I do, you can leave it like this. I have, uh, this is one of the bead tools, a bead reamer this is. Um, I also use it sometimes to make holes for my uh, binding my books and I just run the point through the threads to try to open it up and get each one of those six plies out of each one of the embroidery threads try to open it up and pull it apart okay and that just makes it a little more fluffy you can use a longer piece of thread if you use, you know, maybe a four foot piece of thread or something like that. I happen to have these. I had inherited them already cut at about three feet or so. Um, so if you wanted to make a longer, uh, a longer tassel like this one, I'll show you what I did to make this one. Uh, if you want to make them longer still, this one I made with four, uh, three fingers. But you can kind of see that. You can make them longer with four. You can spread your fingers apart if that's, and just keep it consistent. And you can make them longer still. So, um, but that's, so that's that one. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use two threads for the one that I'm doing tonight. So I want to match the ends, which these are pretty matched already. I wanted to do it on, whoops, sorry, this piece. And we're going to put the tassel in here, okay, and it's going to come out and loop here. We're not going to do that tonight. I'll do it on the other one. I just wanted to show you how I made the tassels. But I wanted a tan and a green um, for this, for these colors. And I still want it short, you know, like the tiny ones that I was making. So I'm going to match up the ends pretty close. If you hear noises, that's my dog. Um, okay, so... Again, to the bottom of my of my in, uh, middle finger, and then wrap it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have this end. Then you pull it through like that. If I can get it to go through. I said I'm trying to make it so that you can see what I'm doing and do it at the same time. So there's that. It's sliding off my finger. Get back up there. And then let's pull that loop a little bit more through. And then I just make another loop just for the sake of getting it through. It's it's not for anything. And then we just pull that up. Okay. Preferably up near the top and pull it tight. Okay and you have that. Then we're going to knot it again. 
I do it about three times on top of this one. So I'm going to take the beige and I'm going to take the green, separate them, and then tie. You know, this might be easier to see because you're looking at two different threads. So there's one. Whoa! <laughs> there's one. This came down. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. So one. I don't know. might look crazier to you. I'm not sure. One. Two. Three. Okay. And that makes the top. Okay. Now, and I didn't get this from before. Um, let me get a, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use another green. So let me grab another green one. Hang on one second. Go back here. And, oh, here. Oh, you know what? I have the piece left over from the other green tassel. So here we go. So you leave a little, ta uh, little tail, grab it as close to that knot as you can, hold on to it with your thumb, and wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to tie it off. I hope I'm not out of frame. I think I've been out of frame. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> and then we tie it. Okay. And then grab, I know I'm in my own shadow here, so I do apologize. A little bit of tacky glue. That was a lot of tacky glue. Uh, I keep saying tacky glue. Why do I keep saying tacky glue? Fabri-Tac. Okay. Make sure that the top pieces stay away. And then, okay tie a knot again. Pull it tight and then snip each one of those threads. Make sure these guys stay out of the way. Come on, out of the way. The ones that come out of your top and snip there. Okay. Put that to the side and then come down here I'm hoping I'm still in frame. Wow, I was probably really out of frame. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you got the idea of it anyway. I mean, we've already made a few. So anyhow, and then just snip. This is not even. There we go. Hold it until it looks even. Put your other pieces to the side. And then pull out your threads to kind of fluff them up a little bit. So, <laughs> I can't seem to grab these over here. Okay. So that's the quick little tutorial. Hopefully you saw some of it. And I wasn't completely out of frame. I didn't realize how, because I have the camera so close to my hands, that I didn't realize that just by moving them that little bit, they would go so far out. So anyway, this is then... Are, um, I'm going to move the camera up now because I think that's probably better and we'll move it back. How's that? Okay, I think that's probably okay. So this is then now we'll put the brad in. We're going to attach it here. We'll just wrap it around the brad and pull it tight. We'll have a little half circle over here that we also have a brad in and then we will take this and that'll just go right over the brad and hang right down there. So that is what it will look like. I think you can see that. I still think I'm too close. Let me get up and see this. Uh, I'm still close. All right, I'm trying to, trying to get me in here. All right, so you can see, but not see, that's my pink shirt. Okay, um, so that's gonna be this part. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that in my tassel box over here. And now what I'm gonna show you is where this piece is going to go. Okay, we're only gonna make the piece tonight. We're not gonna worry about putting it in. Belly band, book, I have the beginnings of it over here. I just have to finish it off for you guys. Um, 
This was the hidden uh, tag pockets here. Um, so that was this part. Uh, this, I have to back this one. So that one's in there. That's why it's turned around to remind me. This is the picture frame, which is ready to go. And then this is going to be writing and there's going to be, you know, kind of a little bit of something on the page to make it a little more interesting than just a page. And this is where we're going to be doing these. So I'm going to open this up because this is the middle where we're going to be working. Okay. We're going to be working right in here. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Well, if I close it up, you won't be able to see it. So we're working right in this spot and this is going to go, this is done and this is going to go on this side. Okay. And when we, let's see, let's see, let's see. When we put a paper down, say this for instance, okay, this flap is of course going to go underneath. So it's going to be uh, glued down underneath the paper like that. And then when you flip it up, there'll be paper under here. Okay. Kind of like that actually. <laughs> I did use this in here, which is why it's so close to hand. All right. So I am going to just close this up. And this, again, this is just an accordion. It looks complicated when you flip it in all different directions, but really it's just folded like an accordion. So this is what we're doing tonight. So let me go through this and then I've got everything all cut. I've got all the tags made. Um, so it's just a matter of assembling. So you could see it getting assembled. Okay. So this is just uh, crochet cotton, which I have over here. Roll of that. Okay. So, and what I did here was I attached it at the back on these flaps. So this is all envelopes and uh, so, and a button here. So I just wrapped it around a few times. This is a belly band, but it's a free strappy kind of belly band. So this tag comes out. We have this tag. This is what I was doing before with that thread. This is a little bit fidgety, so <laughs> You know, you have these good ideas. All right, and then that just goes back in there. This opens up, and you have this flap, which opens this way. You have a tag in here, which is really um, French check, and the back. So, and then that goes back in here. Again, got to get better lighting in here. I'm in my own light. Okay. Um, this is just a little piece of paper that looks like an envelope that I folded up so that can all unfold and you have both sides however you want to do that and that just folds back it goes inside this pocket and then just slides back underneath the um, butterfly and try to line that back up again and then we have this tag in here and I didn't do a whole bunch of tags I just did a few because it's pretty bulky and then it just gets harder to close. This is actually, it's kind of a double, it's really a double pocket. Um, and I'll explain why, but I just took one tag and just stuck it underneath. Um, so this is uh, one of the tags and another one of the tags. They go back in here and this one flips up and this one flips down. Okay. And then you have all of this writing space button here. You have another tag here, and there was that paper I was talking about. <laughs> so you have another tag in here, or I'm sorry, actually journaling card, it's not a tag. Let me try to get that back in here now. So that one goes in there. This one, I'll move it down, it goes in this one, okay? And these little um, sayings, and I'll hold this up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the sayings a little bit. Let me see. Hopefully it will focus for you. I think it's in frame. Let me stand up and see if I can see it. Yep. Okay. Those are actually from the bottoms of those pictures. So these two cards, I they were too big, so I cut them down and I cut this off the bottom. So this tells you what's in it, you know, what those flowers are in each one of these tags in here. And then there's another big tag inside here a big journaling tag and I just put the lace tab on it so it would be easier to pull it out um, 
from the space. So then you would, that one closes, that one closes, this one closes, this closes. And then when you flip it over, you have a tag here, a little skinny, tiny tag, and then two more cards, or not tag, I keep saying tags, they're not tags, they're journaling cards. Two more journaling cards here. So that is the piece that we're gonna be put together tonight. I have to write my instructions, thank God. It all goes underneath the paper so you don't see it. That way I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, so we're just gonna assemble this tonight. Um, so I have my pieces over here. We're gonna start, I'm gonna open this up and we're just gonna start with the bottom piece. So this took three envelopes. Let me see if I can, let me do this. Let me see if I can show you what happens. There's more pieces. We have pockets. So what I did with two of the envelopes is I cut off the ends to fit on the page. I had, let me find an envelope so you can see the size I was using. Hang on one second. Okay. This envelope is, let me grab my ruler. This envelope is nine and a half inches long, obviously too long for our journal. So I had to cut it down. So that's gonna make it easy to see. So we have that piece. It was just a little wider than I wanted for the pocket because the pockets went here. So that was too deep. As you can see, I felt it was too close to the little thing. So I just trimmed it down a little bit is all I did. So that was that. Then this one, let me put this back. This goes here, and I think I lost the other cover. Here's that one, okay. Put a paper clip back on that. Then this one was the long piece like this, okay. And I cut it, yeah. <laughs> I cut it out of the folded part here. So I had the flap, okay, flap. And I cut it that way. And the other one is the opposite way. Okay, so that would just turn it this way, and the flap would be on that side for the left hand side of the page. So that one went there, and then I ended up with other pieces. So I just kept using all the pieces from the envelope as much as I could to create all the flips and flaps. And like I said, I think I used three of them. This one was the two ends. I'm gonna make a mess out of this. This was the two ends of the envelope. And then this piece is the piece that came out from, let me see if I can fold it up. That came out from the middle between these two, okay? So I think, I'm hoping that makes sense to you, okay? And this is what makes the strap over here, okay? So anyway, that's what I did there. So I'm hoping this is right. <laughs> if it's more helpful um, for you, if you leave a comment in the comments, I will try to draw a diagram. I'm not the best artist, but I'll try to draw a diagram of the envelope itself, mostly from the back, so you can tell where the you know, what, where the flaps get positioned because that was the reasoning behind it and then where to cut it and what those pieces were used for. If you think that would be helpful, I will do that and I don't know, <laughs> I guess I'll just sort of, you know, put it on the screen and you can take a, if you're doing it on your phone, you could take a screenshot or you could take a photo of my, of your computer screen or TV screen with your camera, with your phone camera, which is a lot of what I do. Um, but anyway, okay. So let's just get this back to where it was so that we've got all of our pieces together again. Goes over there, and this goes over here, and these go over there. Okay, that's that. And this can go over here because I don't need that. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do with this one. On this one, 
this is the inside. So we want this paper on the inside. And this is the trickiest part of the whole thing is to not glue things closed that shouldn't be glue, glued closed, okay? So since we're gonna have an opening up here, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna use the uh, Fabri-Tac. You don't wanna glue this, but you do wanna glue here, okay? And I know you've been through this with uh, so many of the ladies. Um, who are doing these pockets and uh, these envelope flips. So we're just going to glue this down here. Hopefully you're seeing that. Okay, and along the edge. And I am notorious for having glue leakage, so I do apologize. Okay, and then we are going to that's going to go there. Okay, we're going to fill this all in. Like this. And I do apologize if you hear floors creaking and stuff. Okay, and since this is going to go here, it's this side that we want to glue. So we're going to run a bead of glue right down here. Okay, and then that, that's the glue, so it's gonna glue over here. And we're just gonna try to line this up. This is why I like the tacky glue for this, because I keep saying tacky glue. The Fabri-Tac, my goodness, I don't know where that's coming from, it's throwbacks. I did just buy some tacky glue in the dollar store, which was pretty nice for a dollar. So always good to have in a pinch and it does a lot of things. Years ago I used to make, um, well, maybe I'll do them one of these days, I used to make little roses. I made, uh, it really was bread dough and I suppose these days you could use it with the polymer clay and stuff and uh, make them. So maybe one of these days. Uh, they're too bulky and too fragile I think for um, journals but maybe someday I'll do a little tutorial on it, show you how to make the roses and the rosebuds out of the, what I used was the, um, uh, what do you call it? Okay, the uh, bread dough. So anyway, so that's gonna be that. Hopefully I did not glue it too narrow uh, for the tag I made, but we'll see. I'm just getting off the extra glue. Like I said, I have, my glue runneth over. Okay. So that's that piece, okay? And again, this is what's gonna go in there. So this one then, did I do that right? I didn't do it right, did I? No, I did, I did, I did, I didn't. <laughs> well, you know what? We're just gonna do it this way. That's all there is to that. Um, yeah, flowers are this way. Not that it really much matters, but now we're going to have it like this. So it's going to be a little bit different, but that's okay. All right, let me clean my tip again. And this one can just be completely glued down. And this is just copy paper, just regular old copy paper. Like I said that's usually what I use because when I get a kit, I usually will run it off. Um... And I don't know, you know, what exactly I'm going to do with it right away. Um, so I run it off and then just I put it in one of these legal size pocket file folders, sort of. And that's how I store them on a shelf. And usually I will label them. But many times I do not. <laughs> And then I don't know what it is I'm looking at and where it came from. So, okay, so we're gonna do that, put that there. I think we can probably slide this down just a wee bit if I can. That's good. All right, and that's that piece. Okay, then what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna next take these guys Okay, which are 
these and we're going to put them on because here's the flap and that's the one thing I did not cut was the um, the green part for that so I have green I have green okay so let's get these first thing I'm going to do is just glue the, the papers on let me put this over to the side so we're going to get these papers glued on so this one obviously is the top let me flip it again so you can see this is the top one okay and we'll put the little finger holes in in a little while because you can do that after the pieces together. I did it before. So the green goes on the inside and the beigey color one goes on the outside. Okay, so let's do one of those. I did all this inking and stuff before so it wouldn't be so tedious to watch and take up extra time. And I'm watching my clock right now. And it's getting late. So let's see if I can get this put together. Okay. This is sort of directional, so I do want to kind of honor that. Um, kind of got these flourishes on it. Okay, so that's that piece. And now here's that tricky part again, okay? This is also directional. So again, we don't want to glue this shut. We don't want to glue this part shut, okay? Actually, it's that part. This is gonna to open to the outside, but we don't want to glue this down. So we are going to glue around the edges. You hear the creaking of my floorboards because my basement is unfinished. My husband has faithfully promised me he's going to actually make me a room and put in a ceiling and a door and walls and all kinds of things, but um, it hasn't happened yet. So, okay. And then this one is going to go like that. So this one is the side that gets glued down over here okay and that is that okay so that's that so that's the top flap here and just have to stamp some ink on it all that stuff can be done a little bit later um, so that's that one this one then is the bottom one. This one's gonna open to the other side, which I've already done. And this is the inside, so it's gonna get the green. And again, unclog my nozzle here. Cross the edge of the envelope opening. And down here. And then just fill it in. Okay, I'm trying to go as quickly as I can so that I can get this whole piece in for you. I know because I took some time to do the tassel that, oh, I didn't put the other glue on here. Okay, well, you know what? I can just glue, I can glue it here. It doesn't have to be on the edge of the green paper. It could be here as well. Okay. So anyway, so yes, you're, you're going to hear a variety of noises, and I do apologize. Oh, and here's another happy note. Um, I am situated in the side of the basement where our sump pump is because we are not that far away from Lake Erie, um, and considering the sizes of the Great Lakes, we're not that far away either from uh, Lake Ontario. So I'm guessing that we probably have a pretty high water table here, and if it's raining... Pretty heavily the sump pump may go off and I'm literally my desk is literally like six feet away from it so it works well my basement doesn't flood but I get this noise every now and then so it may come on and I do apologize and I don't think I'm going to be able to solve that problem with uh, the new room because <laughs> the new room is going to go it's going to be right in my new room so 
Uh, that's kind of interesting, I think. But if I am aware that there's going to be a lot of rain or perhaps maybe like with the spring thaw or something like that, I will probably take myself up to my kitchen table and uh, I'll work up there. I'll just have to bring up what I think I need. Okay, so we have this one that goes that way and this one now that goes that way, which are, oops, which are these, okay? So the down one right there, the up one right there, okay? And now we're gonna take, and we're gonna try, and we do have enough. So I'm gonna just go right here, go along the edge, like that, and I'm going to try to very carefully flip this and see, I'm trying to, if you can see where I am here and over here, so the creaking is either my husband or my brother-in-law walking around. Um, so I'm bringing it in just a smidge from this fold here, just a bit, about just a hair. And then again here, here's the end and here's the end of the paper. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to out, <laughs> I'm going to outline that. <laughs> yes, I am. And just went under there. Okay, there we go. And, oh, you know what? I did that backwards again. I do that all the time. I have to actually do it this way. Okay, so now you're going to see that my, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yep. So that one goes like that. Okay. So my little scissors. I'm going to cut to the inside a little bit um, to the inside of this line. I, you can probably see it's not like right up against the line or on the line. I want to go in because I want that space. Um, around the edge of this. So I'm just going to try to carefully stay as faithful as I can to the distance between the line and the edge of my scissors. Well, that's not too faithful. And like that. Okay. And that didn't work. So it should work on this one. No, it doesn't work on this one either. <laughs> I did it wrong. I did it wrong the last time. I just said it was going to work, right? Okay, here we go. That's a perfect size there. I have more of the screen, so that's not a problem. All right, so let's just flip it. And in and in. Oops, a little bit more than that. Okay, there we go. And do it. Ah, just hit it with my finger like that. And that'll be that part. Okay. Again, let's try to do it. Oh, let me get out. Let me get out where you can see me. Okay. So... Next week, as I, as I do these, hopefully I will be doing them right, so I'm not going to talk about this part. But next week, I'm very, very excited because my husband and I are going to take a couple of days off, and we're going back to New Jersey. Um, there we go. We're going back to New Jersey to, um, did I do this wrong again? No, here we go. No, I did it wrong. No, that's the wrong one. What did I do with the one I just cut? Oh, heavens, here we go. Did I do it wrong a second time? Holy cow, can you believe this? This is ridiculous. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I am just going to do this. Now, let me make sure that I'm... That's right, right side up. Okay. All right. So, I want to go out... I think what I'm going to do is just line it up to the edge. Anyway, um, oh, you know what? Let me come down a little bit so I have I have room to cut. Okay. Um, my husband and I are going <clears throat> going to go back to New Jersey 
uh, to visit my son and my brother and his wife and their twin boys and their wives and their sons. They each have a son, which I think I have probably told you that before. I'm going to try to get this a little, a little more lined up with that. There we go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they each have a son. Um, the oldest twin, um, his son is just six months. Oh, let me get back out here. You can see a little bit better. Um, and I have yet to see him other than Facebook. Um, FaceTime, I should say. Oh, and Facebook. She puts pictures up of him. Or little videos or something. Um, his name is Walker. And he's just a little cutie. And um, so I'm hoping to be able to actually meet him face to face for the first time, like ever. So I'm really excited about that. And um, then the second twin, the younger twin, he and his wife have a little boy who's going to be two in the middle of November. So I'm finding that really hard to believe. We did get to go to his first birthday party before all this COVID stuff had hit. And, um, um, oh, please do not tell me I did it wrong again. What am I doing? I'm doing it here. <laughs> okay. Maybe I shouldn't talk so much. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something with the flaps that go this way or do something with those. I don't know what I'm going to do, but okay. Um, again, let me just do it right from the edge. If it's hanging over a little, that's okay. Okay. Um, all right. So, whoops. We're going to get this there. And then I'm just going to smidge it in a bit just so that I can get the line there. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to get to hopefully, let me do it this way, hopefully uh, see Ryder and meet Walker for the first time other than on Facebook. And uh, see my nephews and my brother and sister-in-law and all of that. And that's just going to be great. So, yay, that one's right before I cut it out. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited about that. So we're not going to be gone very long. We're uh, leaving on Thursday and um, heading to first to Hartford to be with um, Don's sister. We're going to meet her at her place and after she gets out of work and then head down someplace to eat. Um, and then in the morning, we're gonna get up and she is actually heading to New Jersey, so are we, but she's going a lot further. And she's ultimately, I guess, really going to Philadelphia uh, to see their sister, other sister. And um, so we're just gonna kinda hang back. We'll take our time getting ready, you know, as she gets ready to leave and, and goes a little earlier. Um, oh, dear Lord. Tell me I did it again. All right, this is ridiculous. No, I did not do it again. I did it right somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know where. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This is just getting incredibly ridiculous. You know what? I'm going to do these later because I'm not going to hold it up any longer. I did the other ones, see? I swear, I did the other ones. See? <laughs> but I can put these on later, so it's not a problem. Um, let me get this back. All right, so we're going to do... This is the one that opens out here. So this one's going to go here. We're going to open this up, and then we're going to just glue down... Actually, I think I use this. Um, we're just going to glue down these sides right here. So I don't want to go too far into the, that curve because I want the space, you know, to be able to put the tag in and, and not have it touch. So top one, 
opens out. So this one's going to go like this, and we're going to bring that in here. Line it up. Good, good, and put that, whoops, put that down. Okay. And then this one, same thing, but from the other side. So anyway, um, I'm really excited about that. Um, so then on Friday when we leave, we're going to go down and visit my uncle who has been very ill. I'm actually going to do it. I don't want to get too close, but I'm going to do it this way. Oh, what have I done? We don't want that in there. Um, he has been struggling with cancer for a very long time. He's 80 years old, 80 or 81 now. Um, try to get this lined up and push down as close as possible to the envelope as you can. There we go. As you wanted to try to line up as neatly as you can. Press that down. Uh, so we're going to stop and visit him. We're going to stop and have breakfast on the way. And then stop and visit him. Um, so that goes like that. Okay. Did I, I feel as though I did this wrong. My flowers are upside down. Oh, well. Okay. Either they're on the wrong side or upside down. Maybe I shouldn't talk, like I said, and work at the same time. But anyway, okay. And then the last one is this. Let's put this together. This is the outside. So this one folds in like this. And these two, whoops, these two flaps are going to get glued together. As a matter of fact, we could probably do that. Um, let's see, where is my opening now? My opening is here. Oh, that's the one I have to glue shut. That's right. I have to glue this part here shut because the tag goes through. I forgot about that. So anyway, um, so I did do this upside down though. No, nope, didn't. Didn't. <laughs> goes like that and this opens in and this is there and this opens up right and let me glue this while I'm thinking of it and then this part is this the part that opens okay so I'm gonna have to fix that but that's okay I'm gonna wait to glue that um, so anyway um, put that back there Get this back here. So after we're done with that, we will head down to New Jersey and uh, check into our hotel. We just stayed there for a couple of days. And um, make sure that's, I know you can't see what I'm doing there, but I'm just trying to line that up tight. Okay. And then I'm gonna glue these together. Um, and uh, I don't know what I'll use this one because this one will co cover faster. We will catch up with my son. I'm not sure. Probably in the afternoon and evening, uh, we will try to make the rounds of my brother and his family. I don't know if I can get them all together, kind of, sort of, in one place. Uh, probably not. So we may have to kind of house jump. They don't live that far apart, any of them. Um, so it's it's not that bad. <clears throat> I'm sorry to be able to um, to see them and squeeze my little babies and my big babies too because you know I know they're 33 years old my nephews but you know I changed their diapers too. So oh my goodness. All right. Well that's why we use Fabri-Tac. So let's get that in. Let's line it up good. Not worried about that. I can get rid of the extra glue just so that I don't stick to it too much. That's that. 
Okay. And that is that. This one goes in here. Same deal. Now this one, since this is opening on the side, okay, we want to make sure that we keep that in mind and don't glue anything shut over there either. So we're going to go right around the edge of the envelope uh, back part. Fill all that in. So then after we're done visiting everybody and or maybe going out to eat with some or none of them, I don't know, uh, we'll definitely be eating with my son. Then uh, we'll head back to the hotel. And then on Saturday, I'm not really sure what we're going to do Saturday during the day, though. I think I may have mentioned, well, maybe I had not, but my son is a fencing coach. And of course, with all this COVID stuff, um, a lot of it has not been taking place. Oh, I have to do this piece too. Um, so he has not been coaching, but there is a couple of uh, couple of places now that are beginning to open up uh, with oops, upside down with restricted, uh, limited amounts of people that you can have in the place at one time. But it looks like some of his coaching is going to be coming back get over here and oh yeah that one's dry let me get one of my wipes um so we may be able to go and watch him do some coaching in the morning uh, my husband used to actually take lessons when we were in new jersey from my son um but of course when we left well <laughs> He's not, needless to say, he's not taking lessons right now. So, um, so anyway, that is about the size of that for the moment. So, and then in the evening, my son has prepared a dinner. Well, not prepared a dinner, but he has gotten um, some of his friends that we had, you know, got to know while we were there in New Jersey um, to come to a dinner at this very famous steak place, at least famous in New Jersey. And my husband is a meat man. He likes beef. And um, so, yeah, so he's real excited about that. It is a place where they have a table where we can have up to 10 people. Um, so we are going to hang out with some friends and have a nice meal together and hopefully that will turn out well as well so and then on Sunday there is a place in a town a little north of where we're gonna be not too far half an hour 20 minutes maybe and um, they are going to they have this huge they have, and I mean huge, uh, pancakes, literally, we've been there, this size. I do not exaggerate. I don't exaggerate, and I'm not exaggerating. They're huge. I'll try to remember to take a picture, and uh, maybe I can get it printed um, for when we come back and show you. Okay, so here we have this. Actually, this has to flap that way. So that's that flap there, okay? Then I'm going to get rid of this because we're about to do that. Then these guys here and here, okay? That's where we are now with assembling this, okay? So I'm gonna glue, let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna glue the paper onto the envelope, the decorative paper onto the envelope piece right here. That's what I'm gonna be doing here and placing that down. And uh, so anyway, I uh, try to get this come down, there we go. Um, so we're going to go to breakfast there. Not sure who will be joining us out, outside of my son, who will be my shadow for the weekend. And um, maybe another friend or somebody else, you know, I'm not sure. Or a couple somebody else's, I, I don't know yet. Um, hopefully this place is open. He's supposed to be finding out about that for us. And if it is fabulous, if it isn't, I'm sure we'll find another place because there are a lot of places now here by us that are beginning to open up 
So I'm just going to try to, I know I'm getting my finger in the glue, but I think it's important to try to get this straight because I'm not always that good at getting things straight. See? <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, so, and Sunday is my wedding anniversary. That, not tomorrow, Sunday. Well, this is Saturday for me, Saturday night. Um, but Sunday the 18th is Don and my 23rd wedding anniversary. So, okay. So we'll be celebrating it by having lunch with my son and uh, then heading out. Okay, so then this is going to go here. Whoops. There, sorry, I know I pulled it up out of the way. And then that is the strap that now goes the other way, okay? And I'm gonna glue this down here at the back first. So, whoops, okay. I need to glue it, well, let me get it lined up right. I really wanted to try to, whoops, let's put that back. I wanna try to make sure that it's in the same place as this one. That looks pretty even, I would think. A little more down. Okay, all right, there we go. Flip it back over. And then I'm gonna just glue right here for right now. All right, right along the edge there. Okay, whoops. And that is where this is, okay, you can see it that way. That's where this goes, right in here. Okay, and I'll put a little butterfly on there, do the decorating, and that's that. So essentially, that is the assembly of that. This one was actually a mistake because I glued it down <laughs> without thinking. Hence the other piece of paper. But since it is what it is on that side, I'm going to do the same on this side. That sounds like my dog got back upstairs, so I apologize for that because he's noisier than my husband or my brother-in-law. Okay. And then, oh, you know what, this actually, let me pull that back up. I had glued this down first. It was just a stray piece of paper that was on my desk, so you know, from all the other cutting, probably all the other mistakes I had made. And I just kind of cut it height-wise, I think. I had left the length, it really didn't matter. And, um, okay, just in there, because I do have to go back in and, um, do the, um, too much glue on my hands here. Do the inking in this little spot right there. So that takes care of that. I don't think I had a butterfly for this. Um, let's see. Here's my little butterfly box. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't find my tweezers at the moment. So let's see. How about this one? He's not, he's the same butterfly, but a slightly different color. So let me find something I can ink on. All right, that's good. Just like to get rid of the antenna whiteness. Go around the edge and do that. Okay, let me put that back there. This is now going to go this way on here. Okay, a little over. Yeah, okay. And I'll do the tack, the um, glitter glue, if it'll come out, because I've had it uncovered this whole time. Oh, it's coming out good. And then I will
Okay, so that goes like that, like that, like that, and like that. So that's what we have here. Okay, and that is those pieces. So now all I have to do is find the butterflies and whatever it is I'm going to use to decorate. And these are the tags that we're going to be using here. So this is the one that, oh, you know what I think I did? I wasn't supposed to do that down, so I'll have to fix that. And that goes in there with that on top of that. Um, this one is the one that goes, this has to be glued down in a minute. And that is going to go in there. These will have the green on it. This is the one that goes in here. Once I sew the button, which is threaded and ready to go, I just have to sew it on. Um, so that's going to go in there. And this one is the one that goes here, and that envelope is the one that goes underneath it, like that. And this little butterfly here will be the one that you tuck it under. Um, and these are the ones that go in these pockets in here. And then we have, excuse my reach, this one that is going to go into, well, into the center pocket, the big giant center pocket. So that is where we are with these. I'll finish this stuff up off camera. Next time when you come by, we will be finishing the tassel, the um, putting the tassel on, doing the picture frame and the belly band and the book. Most of that is really done so it shouldn't take too long. There's not a lot of, there's no real assembly um, with that uh, except for the picture frame, but it's a lot simpler than this. So anyway, that is that for tonight, um, and uh, so I guess I will be seeing you. I'm hoping this will go up and not give me trouble um, getting this uh, put up on YouTube um, tonight, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, the next video that we will be doing, like I said, the other with the other components, that will finish the construction of that centerpiece that... Uh, Angela Kerr piece that we were doing and um, then I'm going to go back and I will put all the signatures in the, the book, make the cover and so after the second one after this, the third one will be the flip through and I just want to say um, with that one I'm going to be giving some instruction on my uh, giveaway because I'm about 50 or so or 40 or so uh, people away, subbies away from having 1,000 people, so uh, 1,000 subbies. So I'm going to give some instruction with that video. When I do the flip through on this whole piece, this whole book that I'm going to finish, uh, hopefully within about a week, about 10 days or so, I'm going to be giving you instructions on what I would like um, to have happen so that I can do my giveaway for the uh, 1,000 subbies. So that's it. Okay, I'm sorry this took a lot longer than I intended. I made too many mistakes and it slowed me down. Uh, but anyway, I will see you again next time. Have a blessed day. Be safe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye everyone.